Hello and welcome to the tavern. My name's Jay, and we'll be fi we'll be finishing up uh, Turok two like right now. So I just have like a little bit of a uh, cleanup to do. Like there is no mission status here. There's no secrets. A little bit of cleanup. Promotion keys uh, three, four, and five. So we can easily go to the death marshes, which I believe just needs water. We can also go to like the rivers of souls to actually um, see the like the, the actually we could also go here too because both these places were kind of like, hey, look at this river. Like this river is still kind of yucky, so I guess the thing was still needed here. But as you can see, we could just now kind of just swim. Kind of swim, grab the rocket, the grenade launcher early. I believe there was also another secret here as well. But yeah, I think with the, with a couple of uh, things, this area actually just becomes like, we can either just like navigate and skip major portions of this level. For example, uh, this area here, I don't think we can skip this one. If we can, that'd be something. I think, oh, we can. Yeah, we can, again, we're just, at this point, skipping major, major, major portions of these layer uh, of these areas for example right here would have been would have been like kind of a hassle right we can also just go here skip this area this is where the uh, guy would have been And yeah, as you can see, and then boom, grenade launcher, go through, go through. It would have been like jump, jump. But yeah, as you can see, we just skipped like major portions. Haven't seen you in forever. Can't can't skip this part, unfortunately. Uh, is this this towards the armory actually? Oh yeah, armory and a little bit of a... Can't skip this one. I'm trying to remember, remember where exactly... Perlin, here! Wow. You took that like a champ. Because I know there was like a water portion in this level. Where, like, one, you needed to, like, swim. I'm trying to remember where. Was it here? I believe it was here. Yeah, it was here. <laughs> Damn, that fucked your shit up. God damn it. But yeah, like, boom, Primogen key. Primogen key found. Ultra health. Then we get an ultra health too. Then over here we get the grenade launcher. Then all we do is just go back. Like quite literally go back. I'm pretty sure I could have jumped over that too. 
Because this is probably going to be one of those, uh, your oxygen is low. Because of how slow the water actually is. Your oxygen is low. But yeah. So, we got that one. Gotta figure out how to get back up. Oh yeah, it was right here. Then we have health, we have uh ammo pack. And you're gonna notice that I don't use the nuke. Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? Alright, um, quick warp, where are we going next? Actually, I'll just go to the, the, the hub. Go to the hub because, um, the one thing about the hub is that, uh, it's probably just need five, four, I got three. And so, like, uh, was it there? Nope. I'll go there later, but it was this one where it's like, the the beginning area is the area to go to and then we could probably just show off a little bit of um wow you really have a checkpoint here actually hold up You don't see it be behind me, but um, that that little blade here would just kept spinning. Like I showed off right now. Look at that blade. Look at that pinwheel right now. Oh, you are a son of a bitch. Lose your fucking eye. Okay, so I can jump this. Charge start, anything back here? My God, that guy just took off like a thousand health. We're going to use this nuke. That's going to open. Um, oh, wait. Cave door. Open said cave door. And now we have the spider of a lifetime. Ooh, I like that blood to actually turn green. Okay, you know what? Nuke! Flashing light warning. Ultra, Ultra health. health. Wow. Hey, look, primogen key. key found. 
Yeah, and then now we can just like instantly leave. Don't even have to worry about like using this. I could just leave. And then the last prime mission key is gonna be in um actually I might need this because I I gotta figure out where exactly the last key was. Because it wasn't in the beginning. The only reason why I can easily go here through the beginning is because, one, even if I could, could have used this, it would have taken longer. Like, a, a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter, who knows. But it's like, I could go through the hub world and kind of just, like, plant the key, look at it, boom. But for the Hive of the Mantids, I have to figure out exactly where... Oh, there was an, another area in, um, so, thinking about it like this, right, there are areas in other levels where it's like, hey, you can grab this. Kind of makes no sense, but, you know, like, once I got the, the, the Prime Engine key, I'm, I'm going to extend the video a little bit longer to show off uh, everything. Quick Warp. Um, I should, I have everything. I've been through the Death Marshes. Oh no, the Death Marshes is what I unlocked last. The fact that I can actually unlock that last is, uh... Okay. So, I have to... This is the thing. I have to figure out exactly where... The, um, Eye of Truth was. Oh, no. I know where that's at. I, I know where where it's at exactly now. I don't have to worry no more. Um oh yeah, it was over here. No, I know exactly where that's at. I thought I would have to like figure it out, but no, I I just remembered. Uh, let's grab rocket launcher just in case. Yeah, this is exactly where it was. Ultra health. I could just super bore everything. Primogen key found. And pretty much, yeah, that's about it. That's it. That, that's not in like pretty much about. That is just it. Like there's nothing else to do. Cause then it's just go back, kill the one mantid again. Grab the one missile because who the, who cares? We don't care about those guys. Actually, see, I was gonna go all the way to like the hub. When I just, I literally just remembered what's here. So yeah, it was literally at, at the end where I couldn't go. And I think this just sends me down right away, right? Yeah, it sends me down right away. Which is uh, the one thing I didn't want to do, but it happened. If anything, I could always like quick warp and just like show off some one, like one other secret area. So let's just go after the big bad and then from there see how I want to do this.
I think you'll find I'm well prepared. You know, that that actually reminded me. So it is one thing that I actually forgot. Uh, do I have explosions? I don't. Mini nukes. Oh, okay, you replenish. Okay. Oh, that was me just being dumb. Um, I think it was here. Uh. Up. Uh, yeah, I gotta get. I gotta gather all the uh, keys again. All right. Well, I kind of, I kind of messed up, but that's fine. Uh, we'll do. Let's go to level four first because that's gonna be the easier one. Because again, it's literally at the beginning. And for this one, I'll just, I'll just like not play around. Then from here, we'll like jump around and actually maybe um. Go to like the one area. We'll, we'll do Death Marshes last. Like, yeah, we'll do the Death Marshes last. There was somebody up there. I don't know. Can I reach there with like a PMF launcher? I can. Come on. There we go. Yeah, being able to like just outright reach up there and say, hey, fuck you. Go for it. All right. It's gonna be one of those nuke everything. Like, even this guy over here just suffered. Alright. And yeah, again, the reason why the nuke suffers is because of... Just because of, like, a little bit of how it operates, right? Like, yes, it's a nuke. It, you launch it and then wham. Ultra health. You launch it, wham! It does like, like, just the, just the effects of it. Primogen key found. That's really what it is. The effects of how the weapon works. It's like, it's what you want in like a a, a weapon you wanna obtain but the sad reality is it doesn't work on bosses that's the biggest uh, crime Greetings, does not work on bosses how may I assist you all right um, quick warp I think I am missing like yeah I am missing like the second area which is like the area I do want to go to let's do hybrid advantage first because um, that's already there Uh, just grab the grenade launcher. Because I don't feel like um, doing anything extra. Oh, wait. I forgot it was right here. So I really didn't need to do anything extra. I just, I'm just stupid. Oh, no, wait. It wasn't this one? Oh, right. Water. Dirt. Look at that. See how easily I forgot? And then the, another thing about the Prime Mission Keys, it sets you up for the boss pretty well.
that, that, that'll be like the biggest thing about the uh, the promising key. It really does set you up for the boss. All right. Ultra health. Oh, I was about to say, like, you guys should have gotten, like, pummeled. Primogen key found. <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. Wow. That, that hit, that collision detection. No, you know what that reminded me of? It's not even, no, it's not even, like, a reminder. It's, like, something happened. I just... I launched and I just said, hey, here, eat that. Go away. And it's like, if my kill count were to like really shoot up. Look at this shit. It's just fucking hilarious sometimes. All right, so I'm missing three. Grab four and five, and then now we use this to get to uh. There was one I was missing. Game save. save it there. Um, what part of the level? Because it wasn't the beginning. Or do I not have that part of the level? I, I think that's, that's probably it. I don't think I had that part of the level. Part of either River of Souls, River of Souls, Death March is one, Death March is two. No, I don't think I have that. I mean, we'll go to Death March is one. Okay. Oh. Okay. So it does send me here. Which is like kind of fast. I, I'm not gonna lie. You can lose a face. Um. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like the other side of this. I go through this portal, it's gonna send me to the other side, and then we go fight the boss. Because from here is like, uh, yeah, from here, like, I just literally jump down in here, jump down into a hole. Move forward at like mock speed. Grab a nuke. Wow. Uh, the one thing the nuke didn't get. Primogen key found. Ultra health. Uh again, can I just like nope, I can't. I have to go through uh all of this the uh, old fashioned way. Which is fine. Alright, so it's gonna be go through all of this. We got all six primogen keys. We got everything again. I wasn't paying attention to the boss, which is realistically my fault. Your oxygen is low. Oh hush up. Yeah, it's gonna be like go through over here, over here, go up there. The fact that I never touched this uh base here is like really telling it really is and then I believe where I want to go for like the last secret it's basically where I want to go for like the last re like the last secret which just does it which is it's not much 
like it's there it's not much and it is i believe death marshes 2. let me not waste time I, I believe it was just like it wasn't across this big ass bridge but it was more towards the end that much I do know it was more more towards the end right way right where, where we saw the uh the scorpion launcher that's where it was at Um, oh yeah, cross the big ass bridge where at this point nothing's gonna happen anymore. I wonder, um, I'm gonna just bring out the scorpion launcher just in case. But yeah, I, I just want to show this off and then, then we'll go fight the boss and then, you know, happily ever after. It wasn't this side, right? It was this side. Um, this side only held what type of secret? Not much. Yeah, here, then it's like wham, wham. Can't go in there. Climb up here. I'm kind of just like roaming around. Because, yeah, it, it's literally like right here where, um. Because, like, to get that rocket launcher, one, you gotta go around. We're literally gonna go over here, which is like opposite side and I now you see the, the light bridge right because now now you go over here now we see the light bridge now we do uh things over here And it's literally just like, hey, here's like a whole assortment of weapons. Because it's like, wham, wham, wham. If you want this health, you can jump over here. Actually, oh yeah, there's a ladder right here. So it's like, yeah, jump down. You can just jump down, jump down. That's gonna sink, but it's also gonna come back up. And then, Scorpion missile launcher. Then, wham, secret. Anything back here I should know of? Probably like um, a life force type thing. Yeah, and it's literally just like, hey, here's a bunch of like, I don't know, early weapons. Not even like a bunch of early weapons, but like a bunch of weapons. Here you go, have fun. Then you just go back, and then that's it. End of level. Was it? Ne was this necessary? That's the bigger question, and in all honesty, no, it was not.
Like, quite literally, none of that was necessary. All that served to do was just, like, tantalize you. It was like, here's a rocket launcher. Then you go in, it's like, oh, all of this has, like, realistically, all of the goodies. Alright, let's go fight this final boss now. And now let's actually take this seriously, beat the game, and then boom, go on the Torok 3. <sighs> and this time we actually have like a lot more health than um just like a hundred or something. This one will just save the game, like, right here. Game and yeah, I, I literally have, like, all ammo, all everything. Ding. Ding. I'm just furiously tapping away. Oh, I don't have uh, explosions anymore, huh? Alright, what am I blowing up first? Antennas. Back antennas. I need you to go away now. Uh, let me grab the uh, explosives over here. Think. Explosions. Hmm. Think. Think. Alright, what's next? Calm down. Um, I need... There we go, plasma. More plasma. Uh oh. This hurts. Um, what do we have now? Uh, any explosions? 
No, possibly more now. Up oh, explosion. Um, another one. Plasma, something. And now you're pissed. Alright, so what do we have left here? Head. Whoa. You really wanted to blow me away, huh? Oh, uh, this is why this, this shit doesn't work. You're gonna see why this shit does not work. Like, that's not even like a portion of the damage. I'm just being stupid at this point. That was me being stupid. Um. Oh, okay, yeah, this is still main hub. Okay. Yeah, let's just, like, end this boss now. But yeah, like, uh, I'm gonna use the one shot I have of this because you don't get any. Uh, unlike. I'm not even gonna say unlike, but, like, you don't get any more ammo out of that shit. Yeah, you would have to, like, realistically go out of your way to say, like, unlimited ammo. Like, it's one of those, like, weapons you would use for a boss. But the boss just says, I'm immune. What? That's what that is. The boss just strictly says, I'm immune. Especially because, like, how it acts. Because it has to hit, like, certain body parts. It's not like the, the campaign where the whole hitbox was the, um... Where the whole hitbox was the boss. No, for this boss, you have to hit, like, certain areas. Plasma. Shut up. Go away. And yeah, again, the nuke wouldn't like one because he has many faces, right? The nuke would not do like the amount of justice you would want it to do. So like again, the, with the nuke, you want the nuke to like. Kind of just like neutralize the threat, which to every other trash mob it does fantastic, but to like this one because of the many phases, because of everything, it doesn't do as much as you would want it to. And now I need health. So now it's the arms, which is, this is why like the shredder is like overall like the best gun. Like the shredder just being like an absolute monster. Oh wait, you still have this arm here, huh? Well, oh, I'm a pitiful fool. I'm not the one losing arms here. Literally, I'm not the one lo losing like arms and limbs here. You are. So, uh, who's a fool? Oh, 
Oh, too easy now, huh? You hear this asshole? You got one lucky hit in because I decided I wanted to be stupid. <laughs> Dink, dink, okay, dink, dink, okay, and now you send more of your drones, which is wham, wham, and now I got like everything for you. me in place that's that's fucking bullshit I've never saw that before I, I've never seen him actually like freeze me in place huh learn something new every day Did not mean for three shots to happen. All right, we're gonna have to go through these phases again. It's gonna be like another five minutes. for like five seconds. Cool. Go wait for like an, an, another minute or two while I sort out all your uh, bullshit. Honestly, I, I easily could just stick to like either the shredder, the uh, plasma. You say that, but you have me. Well, you killed me, but not with these things. Come on, give me a challenge. Think, think, think. Oh, you only launched one? Ah, oh, shit. Skip something here. I feel like I skipped something. We have my, uh, I skipped something. Dang. Dang. Much faster. Okay. All right. Um.
I guess I'm just gonna like shoot him in the face. Let me not play games. Yeah, I think I was playing way too many games. Yay, beams of light. Beams of light. The five beams of light. Oh yeah, uh, there was no total pull on uh, the primogen light ship, because why would we have one? Oh my god, he... he he didn't explode, he poofed. <laughs> and there we go, end of Turok 2. The Primogen has been destroyed, Turok. The combined energy from the totems has shattered his body and destroyed the last traces of his telepathic powers. The Omniverse is in your debt. I have been unable to identify the force which conspired against you during your battle with the Primogen. Its form eluded me. While I searched, a feeling of dread washed over me. A feeling unlike any that I have ever experienced. There is a natural balance in the cosmos between that which we define as good and that which we know as evil. Light and dark, order and chaos. Although I have been unable to gain any specific knowledge of this being, its energy signature feels as if it exists beyond either fundamental force. And one other thing, Joshua. Each time I scanned this entity's signature, I also detected the energies of the Turok lineage as well. Whatever it is, your ancestors have dealt with it before. And then, boom, that's it. Tarak 3, done. Wham, that's it. Nothing more, nothing. That's it. Tarak 3. I mean, Tarak, Tarak 2, done. We can now move on to Tarak 3. Have a bit of fun. Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, again, the nuke. Compared to the Chrono Scepter, which when when you use the Chrono Scepter in the original game, all three shots is what it took to kill the ca campaigner. The nuke, the nuke had problems in the original. I might, if I can get, like, I, I might try it a little bit later on on my own to see if the nuke is actually like better in this version. But the nuke, because of how it works, it's tr it tries to target like it, it tries to target the entire um, boss, but it fails to do so when you need to hit spe specific body parts. For example, uh, the primogen, you needed to hit the four tentacles, but each one cannot be you cannot destroy them all at the same time. Or at least I don't think so. I've destroyed two at the same time, but not all. And because of that, the nuke becomes only useful for like trash mobs. Again, I will go through like maybe with cheats to give me the unlimited ammo to be able to go through all of that. But this has been Turok 2. We now go on to Turok 3. Again, if you made it this far, let me know which um which campaign to start off with first. And we'll work on it from there. I will play on like the hardest difficulty. So there's going to be that going for it. With that said, thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. This is the end of Turok 2. We are now moving on to Turok 3. And depending on what happens, I might throw in um, a Turok Rage War here and there. Or a um, Turok 1 Mountain of the Sun mod. We'll see how this works. That being said, uh, get the fuck out. The tavern is now closed. I shall see you all later.